about to get into this boxing fight between Triple G and Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez got caught slipping though. Got this P Dirty. With some uh um, Still gonna have a fight at this date if it's gonna be pushed back. If they still gonna have a fight at all. You know the last fight ended in a draw. It was a very amazing fight. Everybody's looking forward to it. This kind of throw a monkey wrench in the whole thing right here. The news is still fresh, and I was quite shocked. I didn't, uh, I didn't take Canelo Alvarez for a cheater. <laughs> But I guess he was on his Malcolm X trying to win at all by all by any means <laughs> necessary, I guess. So he, I did what I had to do. Well, what they're saying <laughs> is, man, we, we, we're looking at uh, portions of the letter presented. And they're blaming it on a, I, I want to say it's something pertaining to uh, meat. They ate some meat that had something in it, perhaps. Really? And, what, do you, um, what do you eat? Human meat? That had steroids in it? Like, what, what kind of meat was that? Might have some bad <laughs> hormones in it, perhaps. That's probably what they talk about. <laughs> and, uh, oh, he got some meat with HGH in it, huh? The urine specimen. <laughs> urine specimen number of, uh, what, 412. He contains <laughs> clobutrol and advert, uh, ad, ad, adverse urine specimen. And the, the numbers there contains... Clobutrol. Now, this is uh, going to be difficult. We don't know where this this fight's not until May, so it's <laughs> it's a quite a distance before these two fighters uh, see each other again. Uh, uh, looking at it now, Triple G, Golovkin is thirty seven and oh. He has one uh, draw, thirty three knockouts. Then you have, of course, Canelo. Alvarez, 49 and 1 in 2, 34 knockouts. He gets his first loss against Triple G right. uh, last year. And it'll be interesting. A lot of people, it was a good fight, man. I enjoyed the fight. And it'll be interesting to see whether or not they could continue uh, this fight. Now, they're blaming it on a meat substance or whatever it was and has shown up. Uh, let's see. And that, that's been a regular substance that's shown up pretty frequently, to be honest with you, man. And, and most Mexican athletes. So it could possibly yeah, be. We don't know uh, what that is. Tacos and burritos. Then, huh? Yeah, that genetically modified stuff, whatever's going on down there. But it's, it can, it's it's definitely a banned substance. This fight is set for May the 5th at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. And this is a huge fight. So we, we just got to monitor to see what happens here. Anyway. Let's move forward and preview this fight like the fight is going to actually happen because I don't think they might, they might push it back. Or, then again, they might not. I think they'll probably get through this and get ready and test them again and he'll probably end up clean. All it is is, okay, you got a bad test. Let's test again and see what you got. Right. Clear it up. But anyway, like I said, this is part two. Of course, you know, Triple G won the first time around. It was actually a draw. Was it a draw? It was a draw. It was a draw. It was yeah. a draw. I'm he didn't sorry. win. Yeah, I'm draw. So there we but go. It's you, a draw. Your, your eyes told you Triple G won, and uh, a lot yeah. of people said yeah. the same thing. Yeah, you know? yeah, but and that, that's they called that's, it a draw. Well, I say Triple that. Well, you know, I like why I say Triple G won the fight. Triple but, G was the aggressor. I think he landed slightly more punches the whole nine, but uh, he took some big old shots from Canelo. <laughs> <laughs> Canelo was a powerful punch. Canelo man. was landing on him, but you know what I liked about it? He could take a and punch I, though. Golovkin is not no bum. He don't have a weak chin. Right. He That's can what dish like, it man. and give. He could take it and give it. Bro, I think that messed Canelo up too a little bit because I remember one punch Canelo threw that that famous right hand he got. He popped him with it, bro. I mean, Triple G ate it and kept walking. Right. I'm like, wow. Right. <laughs> Golovkin is a, is a, is he a bad He didn't stun him. Man. He Triple didn't G's even stop guy. him. He didn't even back him up. He took his best punch and it didn't even back him up. So let's look at this, though, DC. Let's preview the fight then, like it's going to happen, because I still say it's going to happen. 49 and 1. Let's start with uh, Canelo. He's 49 and 1 and 2. 34 knockouts. And uh, he, 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 he's, he wants to come in here and he wants to take the, t- the titles he wants to be able to knock off triple g and it's gonna be strong it's gonna be tougher than say it man because you look at what uh triple g is marching into this bout with his numbers and like i said golovkin can talk his crap but he can he can definitely back it up he's 37 and 0 never been beat he has that one draw 
33 knockouts. And like I said, and many people agree with me, that Golovkin won that fight. He won that fight, and I was disappointed when they said it was a draw. That was some bull. Right. I think he outpointed to them. He had more of those haymakers that landed. It just looked like Triple G would, should have won that fight. Uh, if, you know, at the least, it should have been a close win for Triple G. But, of course, that's what make boxing. Uh, people hate boxing so much. All the corrupt crap that goes into it with these lame brain judges that be sitting there with these dumb calls. But anyway, let's get into the fight. I already laid out the standings about both fighters. Uh, I told you about Golovkin. I told you about Canelo. What happens in this bout on May the 5th, being that they can get past the drug crap? Oh, me personally, I think Triple G takes it this time just because um, the styles, they fit. Um, Triple G is, is going to be the guy that, that comes in and he's looking for an opening, always constantly searching, looking, looking. Um, Canelo is a counter puncher. He's going to wait for you to make a mistake. Triple G, he makes a few mistakes and he paid for him in the last fight. But if you watch the last time, I mean, me watching the whole fight, in my opinion, Triple G won the fight. But it wasn't by a, a large margin. Neither one of them hit the mat, so they had nothing to really separate them apart. Um, they both were landing big power shots. But with a lot of rematches, um, if you watch boxing, somebody usually always wins the rematch dominantly if it was a very close fight the first time. And I'm going to say just based on the styles and the fact that um, Triple G is going to be the aggressor. He's made mistakes last time. I think he's going to tighten his game up a little bit. And I think he takes out Canelo this go-round. Uh, maybe maybe he knocks him out. Well, I have to – I think Triple G's – I'm going to just have to agree. I think Triple G beat him the first time around. I think he finishes him up this time. Canelo – Got, he had a rude awakening in this fight because usually when he started punching all them other guys he's facing, they're falling all around. But Canelo never met a fighter as as imposing or who could take well, brutalization he, he, as Triple G. He, he met Floyd Mayweather, and that ain't too good for him. Well, <laughs> I, I, but I, I don't even consider that. Like <laughs> Floyd's a, like a, 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 a middleweight uh, guard. You know, so I'm re- <laughs> he's just on a whole another level. Now, that would have been an entertaining fight. Triple G, and, uh, Triple Floyd. G and, and Floyd. If Floyd ever thought about coming out for a payday instead of fighting a clown like McGregor, he could have put that on Triple G. But you well, know, McGregor, he, McGregor started talking a lot. And you know, how that Floyd was just is, some old exhibition crap. Yeah, the man never had crap. a fight in he, his he life. He just anyway, talking we, and talking. We don't get into that. But let's. And Floyd was like, "Why not get an easy two hundred million? But this, this is the not? thing. Canelo Alvarez, uh, outside of Mayweather, of course. Let's put that exemption there. Has never fought. Now he has some good fighters that he fought. Canelo actually fought. Don't get me wrong. But when you start talking about Mayweather and you start getting on a level of guys like Triple G, who's going to go down as one of those really solid boxers, you know? And right now the guy's undefeated. He got power in both hands. He could take a punch. He's solid fundamentally. And Canelo can't brutalize him. He can hit him with all these punches, and and Golovkin's going to keep coming. So I just think Golovkin is finally going to be more assertive, and he's not going to leave it up to the judges to make this fight. He's going to try to put Canelo on his ass. And right. that's what it's going to come down to, in my royal opinion, of, of who's going to end up winning this fight. That's just me. DC and it takes on that. Nah, I mean, uh, actually, I'd be trying to look for something to, to argue about. but <laughs> Ain't no argument I, I, on I pre- that. I pretty much see it the put, same way with and that listen, one. listen, we called a couple of these fights good. Uh, we, You know, we solid. We pay attention to boxing. We love boxing. Like, we love basketball and we love football. But let me tell you something. This fight with Canelo and Triple G set up for May 5th, I think they're going to get past the drug test. Too much money put up on the stake for them not to get past that. Yeah, the whole world going to be watching this fight. Everybody wanted to see this rematch. This was a very entertaining fight the first go-round, so I don't see any reason why it would be anything less than that the second go-round. It's a, it's the perfect styles. I really like the fact that one one of the guys is a counter-puncher and the other one is, is really trying to get into you and get the get the work. So that creates an amazing fight fights, baby. Uh, every time. So. It's going to be an entertaining fight. I don't think anybody's going to go out in the early rounds. They're going to get the punch on each other No, this a late. Bit. This running late. Right. They're going to get the punch on each other a little bit. Um, maybe a TKO type situation. Somebody gets cut, something like that. But um, I just don't see a re- another rematch going to a draw being a close fight. It no, if it really don't. happens. If it don't, they're going to tear up the ring. too much tape. Right. 
So this in the end, I say, like I said before, it's gonna be a knockout late because with most solid fights, that's how I go. But I say Triple G gonna be put Canelo on his ass. If you disagree with me, or you disagree, or you agree with DC, or what the opposite, or vice versa. Post, 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 post your comments. with both of us. Post your comments, man. Post your comments. And, uh, and and see we'll see what you got to say. But anyway, that'll do it for our show. We thank you for joining us on the Sports no Combo no with Big Q and the Guy. We covered a lot of ground today. Thank you for joining us on the show. I hope you share it with your family and friends and like us. Jo- go join our social media uh, networks as well: Facebook, Twitter. Join them because we have uh, we blast out all the latest Saints and uh, Pelican news as well as all the latest college news and boxing news as well. Also, if you like the show and we entertain you, donate to the show, man. Help us out. We buy use buy better microphones, what have you, whatever we need at www.patreon.com slash the PRO Media Network. So from DC and myself, peace. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Pro Media Network, who provides hours and hours of free entertainment to you and yours. If you are benefiting positively from our content, please donate to help us grow our platform by going to www.patreon.com slash the Pro Media Network. That's www.patreon.com slash the Pro Media Network and support the true independent artist.